What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats, as well as some excellent attachment combinations on every gun in Call of Duty Vanguard. And in today's episode, we're going to be moving on to the BAR. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our damage profile. And it turns out, even though you deal a little bit less damage to the limbs, no matter where you hit them in the body, it's going to be a three shot kill up close and a four shot kill at a distance. So this gun is very forgiving no matter where you hit them. However, if we have a look at our head slash neck shot damage, you can see it's 61 up close and 46 at a distance. And what this means is in your maximum damage range, all you have to do is hit one shot anywhere in the body and a second shot to the head. And you can actually get a two shot kill with this gun, which is pretty crazy. As for our rate of fire, this is quite slow at 400 rounds per minute. And what this means for our time to kill potential is within the three shot range, it'll be a 300 millisecond time to kill. And then for four shots, it's gonna take you 450 milliseconds. And these are fairly slow time to kill values for this game. However, if we do manage to land that one shot to the head combined with a body shot with a two shot kill, our time to kill potential is 150 milliseconds, which is very, very fast, especially considering the fact that this is without any attachments equipped. Next up, let's have a look at our bullet velocity, which is standard for assault rifles at 885 meters per second. And then let's get into our range value, which is actually pretty solid at about 64 meters. And this means the vast majority of gunfights you run into this game will be well within your three shot kill range. It'll be extremely rare to even find a line of sight long enough to reach a four shot kill with this gun. As for hardcore game modes, the BAR will be a one-shot kill anywhere in the body at any range. It doesn't matter as long as you're not shooting through something or as long as they don't have armor. But then let's move on to our hip fire, which as you can see here, the BAR has terrible hip fire. It is tied for being the worst in the assault rifle category with the AS44. And now let's move into idle sway, which isn't so bad. Your sights really don't move around much at all while aiming down sights. And now let's get into recoil, which is very interesting with the BAR. There is essentially zero horizontal recoil with this gun right out of the box. It kicks literally straight upwards. Also, when kicking upwards, there's not a huge gap between these shots, especially with the initial shots fired. And as a result, this is one of the most accurate and easy to control recoil patterns in the entire game. But going off of that, I also wanted to look at our aim down sight spread, which is the inaccuracy of the shots when you pull the trigger. And the BAR has next to zero aim down sight spread, so it's very, very precise, even at extremely long ranges. And now let's move into handling, which isn't really the strong suit of the BAR. Our aim down sight time is 315 milliseconds, which is quite a bit slower than average for assault rifles. Then our sprint to fire time is just a bit slower than average, but it definitely is slower. And we see a very similar story with our reload add time. This is 1.94 seconds, which is also pretty slow for an assault rifle. This same trend carries over to our mobility as well. Our movement speeds across the board are a little bit slower than average for assault rifles. Now it's not by a massive degree, but it is definitely slower than the other assault rifles. So that's the base BAR with no attachments on it. It's definitely got a good amount of power, especially if you can land a headshot, and it's also extremely consistent damage-wise, but you do have to deal with that slower handling and mobility. And now that we've got that part out of the way, let's dive into the barrel attachments, because these are very important and can absolutely change this gun by quite a bit. And looking at the barrel recoil, as you can see here, the first barrel you unlock makes this gun incredibly accurate, like even more accurate than the base recoil. The second barrel doesn't really seem to change recoil all that much at all. The third one definitely increases that total magnitude. And you can also see after the first shot fired, there tends to be a pretty big gap. And that big jump after the first shot could absolutely throw you off, especially at longer ranges or if the enemy is using cover really effectively. And then finally, with the Chariot 18 inch rapid barrel, this one bounces side to side a good amount for those initial shots, which are the most important shots. And this is an extremely difficult recoil pattern to properly control and predict at range. And speaking of ranges, let's just see how these barrels will impact our ranges. And as you can see, there's no change with the first barrel. The second barrel does boost our range off the charts here to 74 and a half meters. The third barrel gives us a 104 meter range, which is insane. And then finally, the fourth barrel doesn't change our range, but you'll see that it changes our time to kill. And let's dive a little bit deeper into that, since that is the only barrel that actually changes our time to kill on the BAR. The other ones are just affecting our ranges and our mobility and accuracy. But when it comes to that fourth barrel, this is the rapid barrel. This one will increase our fire rate up to 487 rounds per minute. And while it doesn't change our damage, this will impact our time to kill potential. It does speed up our time to kill to 246 milliseconds up close and 369 milliseconds at range. 
This might seem appealing just looking at that on paper, but if you remember the recoil on this, it is very difficult to control and predict, and it's really going to be limiting you heavily at any sort of range. And as a result, I just don't recommend using this barrel. And that pretty much covers it for the barrel attachments. The other ones, like I said, they don't change your time to kill. So you can see the stats in the menu for yourself and just decide if that's going to be supporting the build that you're looking for or harming it. Now let's dive into the magazine attachments. And once again, we'll just start this off with the recoil. And as you can see here, I was actually quite surprised with the eight mil Klauser rounds in the menus, it states that this will reduce your recoil. But since this also boosts our rate of fire up to 508 rounds per minute, when you look at the actual recoil pattern, this technically increases the magnitude of recoil that we experience while using the 8mm Klauser rounds. Then on the other end of the spectrum here, with the 50 BMG rounds, this one in the menu says that it actually pretty noticeably harms your recoil, but since this slows your rate of fire down, it turns out you end up with less recoil than the base BAR and it ends up being more accurate with 50 BMG, which is very surprising as well, because 50 BMG is a pretty big cartridge. As for our ranges with these magazine attachments, with the 8mm Clouser, you can see it actually turns us into a four shot kill at any range, which means in our maximum damage range, we get a slower time to kill than we have with the base BAR. However, at longer ranges, we get a better time to kill than the base BAR. Then with either of the 50 BMG attachments, this will increase our range potential to 77.7 .7 meters, and it turns it into a two shot kill, which gives us a ridiculous time to kill potential of 165 milliseconds. And let's dive a little bit deeper into these magazines, starting it off with the eight mil Klauser round. As you can see here, rate of fire is increased to 508.5 rounds per minute. It's now gonna be a four shot kill at any range due to our damage profile that it changes here. And up close, it doesn't matter where we hit them, it, we can hit them in the toe or the chest, it's still gonna be a four shot kill. However, at the longer ranges, we do have to hit all four shots to the knee up and elbow up, essentially, anywhere in the torso. As long as you're not shooting like forearms or hands or shins and feet, then you are going to still get that four shot kill. In my opinion, though, since this does technically increase our recoil while also reducing our time to kill potential up close to the body, that immediately disqualifies this attachment for me, at least. And I just wouldn't recommend using it at all. As for 50 BMG, this is for the third and fourth magazine attachment. This makes it a two to three shot kill anywhere in the body. Doesn't matter if it's the toe or the chest, it'll be a two shot kill up close and a three shot kill beyond 77 meters, which like I said, you're just not gonna be finding practical lines of sight consistently beyond that range. However, this does noticeably decrease our rate of fire down to 363 rounds per minute. So it is less forgiving for missed shots. But if you are confident with your aim, you're putting people down in 165 milliseconds, no matter where you shoot them in the body. And this is insanely powerful, and I highly recommend using the 50 BMG attachments once you eventually unlock them. Unfortunately, it does take quite a long time to get up to, I think it's level 53 for the first set of 50 BMG rounds. But once you get to that point, this immediately turns the BAR into a top tier meta gun. And with that, that's gonna wrap it up for the attachment stats. Now it's time to get into some amazing class setups for you. And the first one I've got is with the 50 BMG rounds. This is the insta-kill BAR setup. And with this, the highlights, we're using the 50 BMG 30 round mag. You could use the 20 round mag if you want as well. We've got the focus proficiency to reduce flinch when shot. I tried to make it so the aim down sight time wasn't too ridiculously slow. And this also has a very good aim down sight strafe speed. So it's not something you want to be like rushing around like crazy with. It's more so the type of thing that you're locking lanes down with and you're approaching in a more methodical fashion. But, but if you catch somebody while you're aiming down sight, they basically just don't stand a chance against you. And it's also worth noting that this is incredibly accurate. As you can see here, there isn't that much recoil and it's still just straight up recoil, which is very easy to control and predict. This right here is one of the best BAR setups you can possibly make in this game but unfortunately you do have to rank it up quite a bit in order to unlock all of these attachments so as an alternative here's another way that you can run the BAR I just call this sort of the standard setup this is the type of thing you use as you're leveling up the gun and unlocking attachments as you go 
So with this, we're not using a barrel or a magazine because they're either going to harm our recoil too much, they're going to harm our handling or mobility too much, or they're just going to harm our damage too much in the case of some of the magazines. So we're just keeping those standard. So we get a standard time to kill. You really want to try and land a headshot if possible to get that really good 150 millisecond time to kill. This particular setup has amazing accuracy, especially for the first several shots fired. Just pay close attention to that. You'll notice there is like no recoil until the sixth or seventh shot that's fired. And with a gun like this, you should be killing within three to five shots. So that's great to see that. And I also managed to get this to have really good aim down sight and sprint out time for the BAR. It's less than 300 milliseconds for both. And our aim walking movement speed is even better than the previous setup. So you can also strafe around the map very, very effectively with this. This one here is a very solid build, assuming you don't have 50 BMG unlocked. But like I said, once you unlock 50 BMG, that should be on every single one of your BAR classes. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's gun guide on the BAR. As for my thoughts on this gun, I like it. It's a nice, reliable, consistent sort of a gun if you can hit your shots. Not very forgiving for any missed shots. That is one big thing to keep in mind, but it's very accurate and it's just dependable. Until you unlock the 50 BMG, then it just becomes ridiculous because it just two shots everything. And it's one of the best guns in the game once you get 50 BMG on it. Now, of course, these are just my opinions on the BAR. I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this gun, both with and without 50 BMG? Also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes, I will, of course, leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.